No crapper and intent, not to be sexual, the convincing the religion or do anything to get my YouTube channel taken away from me. I could still my job right now, and I will do my best of ability to give credit where credit is due. This is a giant Zootopia donut by Nerdy Nummies, Rosanna Pesino. I think I said her name wrong, and I'm sorry if I did. I call her Ro. And I love Nerdy Nummies. I did not make this video. I had nothing to do with her video. I give all the credit to her and the people who do it. I give you every credit in the book. I love your videos, by the way, Ro. And your sister and you and Mo are so cute when you do, like, your little videos together. I love you guys. And I'm just doing my reaction reviews on you because I'm doing a uh, food Sunday where I talk about food, do cook food, try new foods, watch YouTube video. YouTube channels about food, and since I did, I love you and Lord in the Kitchen and my Drunken Kitchen, and I might try to find some other ones, but I love you. You're the first person who I went to. You're the first person I actually watched about food on YouTube, and you actually, um, I actually got a recipe off of you, which, by the way, thank you. It was all your I tried to do it kind of similar to you, was a Lego cake that I made for my stepdad with purple icing. And because I was allergic to food, that was kind of hard to do, but I got it off of you, and thank you for the inspiration. And, by the way, so jealous of your cooking skills and your cute little nerdy nummies, and I love your channel just so much. Nerdy Nummies by Rose! Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. National Donut Day is coming up soon. It is the first Friday of every June, so every year it's a little bit different. And this is post May 30th, 2017, and this is National Donut Day, and probably until I upload this video, because right now it's 11-22, June 2nd. By the way, I do not own Ro's video. I give all the credit to her and the people who work with her. I just love her and want to react and review her video. And, oh my goodness! I love her top and her cute little skirt. Like it has like it looks like little sprinkles and it's like a pink skirt and a turquoise blue top. And in the background of her kitchen, she has like blue gumballs, pink gumballs, dark blue gumballs it looks like, or gems. And then she has a giant combination of gumballs, and then a red mixer, a, st a st stove, and a dinosaurs, and some flour and sugar and I love her pink out I just love her outfit and her cute little headband she always dresses up kind of towards what she's making and she I have to give her a lot of credit she takes like maybe 10 hours just to make sure her videos turn out amazing and they do here it is June 2nd, and I got so many requests from you guys to make the big donut from Zootopia, so I thought, <laughs> perfect, that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be making a homemade donut like we've done before, but we're going to be making it the size of a cake. This is a, a huge size of a cake. donut, and we're going to make it look just like the one from the movie. Let's get started. I love the things you'll need will started. be She's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. She always points to each ingredient of what you need. Sometimes you might have to watch her video twice because she, um, knows what she, like, she cooks very well. First cup of milk, two eggs, we're only going to be using the yolks, three tablespoons of granulated them. sugar, two rainbow. tablespoons of butter, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of like almond rainbow, extract, and donut. one packet of active dry yeast. Then for the ganache glaze, yeast. we'll need one cup of cream, two cups of chocolate, Can and chocolate. one tablespoon of corn syrup. Then to decorate, some hot pink royal... Fun fact you might not know. Yes, donuts have food diet, and they're also not really vegetarian or vegan. Some donuts can be more vegetarian than others, but they're not vegan unless you make them yourself. It depends on the donut and the brain. Like, some donuts could be considered non-vegetarian, some can. It depends on the type of vegetarian you are, and I don't think donuts are considered vegan. I used to eat donuts because I considered them vegetarian back in the day. And I also used to got the ones that were more towards, like, vegetarian, not like anything fancy or have like meat on them or like certain ingredients because I looked and made sure. And also I wasn't, I, as a kid I wasn't really allowed to make soup, like like this year I made more drastic choices about me being a vegetarian than any other year really. 
which is a half good thing and a half bad thing. I'm just working on it. Because when I was a kid, my parents would make me try to eat meat. I would hide it, of course, and throw it away. Or, like, eat two pieces just so they wouldn't yell, like, yell at me. Because they didn't want me... They didn't like me being a vegetarian. But, I hear vegetarians don't... Vegans can't eat these type of donuts. I don't know if vegetarians can because it has eggs in it. I hear some donuts aren't vegetarian and some aren't vegan. But depends on the brand and if you make them. Or not. And some rainbow sprinkles. Now let's put it all together. The first thing that we're gonna do is activate cooking. our yeast. People find it funny because I love watching cooking videos, but I can't eat most of the stuff they show, or I, I don't eat meat. So it's like, why are you watching them? Because it's interesting. Like I haven't watched um, Carnival Eats, which is interesting and sometimes very disturbingly gross, but weird about it. like some people fake snakes and eat them but the only cool part about that is they actually give the money to like a charity I mean I'll give them the money and say I don't want the snake I just want to give money to the charity because I don't eat snake or meat and even when I did eat meat I never ate snake or bugs hmm Heated up our milk to 100 oh, degrees. Whoa. I just did this by popping it into the microwave for about 20 more. to 30 seconds. It will depend on your microwave. Pour in our I yeast love her bomb and down here. our sugar mixed together. So then mean. we're just going to let this sit out for anywhere between it's 2 like to she's 10 like thigh minutes. Thigh bangs. She used to have like bang bangs and like different color hair. Like you can see from the start from now how much she's progressed. And she's looked in different places. So you got to see a couple different kitchens. It, I love her dog, Cookie. She is so cute. I wonder if Cookie would be in this video. It's until it starts to form a bunch of bubbles. Pour the yeast mixture into our bubbles. large mixing bowl, followed by our two eggs. Remember, we're just adding the yolk, butter, and almond extract. Then we are going to whisk it up until it's well combined. I this is what it should look like when it's all mixed all up. Food. Now add half of our flour in the bowl. Mix it in before I add my salt. Because if you add the salt, it's going to kill the yeast. Then I'm going to slowly add the rest of our flour, mixing it up as we go until it's all incorporated and now it is time to knead with your hands i love this part it's kind of fun for me sprinkle a little flour on top of our work surface so that it won't stick what i like She's to like do really heel cool up over turn i actually heel saw where she um did a house tour and said she wanted to buy a house that had a good kitchen because that's mainly where she works and like places that she can work from home and it's kind of cool Overturn. I might have I to like do to another video like for this. Move. Our dough is nice and smooth. It is ready for a nap. So over here in a medium bowl, grease it with a little bit of baking spray. Place the baking dough inside spray. and lightly spray the top. Then with a clean kitchen towel, place it over the top of the bowl. Oh, here you go. Here's bedtime stories. Let our dough rest until it doubles in size. This usually takes about one hour. All right, it's been about an hour. Let's take a look. Whoa. Yeah, it's time to she put the towel on it, and it went like from this to like this. Wow. Sprinkle a little bit of flour this on top of so our cool. surface. You don't want to go crazy here. Very light. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. Put a little flour in the hand. I rub them together. Give them a clap. Gently press down until the dough is about an inch thick. And try to keep it in a round shape. We want it to look like a big donut. I got a nine inch cookie cutter and that is the size that I want my donut to be. So I'm placing this down. No twisting, just straight down. All right, we did pretty good. There's only a little bit of excess. And then take a much smaller cookie cutter. This one She's is three cool. inches in the middle. Go straight down, no twisting. And pull up. It Pull the centerpiece out. out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a jumbo donut hole. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make this a little donut just for me. Our donut is almost ready to fry, but our dough's gonna take one Bye, more donut. nap. And this one's just gonna be a little cat nap. It's only gonna be ten minutes. Head cat over nap. to the stove and bring a large pot of oil to 350 degrees. Ooh. Carefully place in the donut and fry for one to two minutes that's on the first side. Donut. When it's golden brown, carefully flip the donut over. I'm using two spatulas. And fry for another minute. Then 
remove the donut from the oil and place onto a paper towel to dry. Once dry, place the donut on a baking rack. My baking rack is placed on top of a cookie sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. Take the sheet over to the oven and we're going to bake our donut for five minutes at 350. the frosting. I have to take every good part out of the donut to eat it. It's huge though. It's ginormous. Ginormous donut from cookie. Well, from Nerdy Nummies. Because she has a cookie logo. I said cookie. Freeze. Our donut is off to the side cooling. It's time to make our ganache. It's going to be the oh, glaze ganache. for our donut. Take the chocolate that. cream and corn syrup over to the stove. In a medium sized oh, sauce pot, kitchen. bring the cream and corn syrup to a scald. You'll know it's scalding when little bubbles start to form all around the sides of the pot. Turn off the heat and carefully fingers. pour the mixture over the chocolate. Shake the bowl gently. people make me so jealous. She like could put her finger close, like not super in it, but close. If I did that, I ended up getting burnt just by that close. I literally burnt myself the other day by just touching the pan by five seconds of accident. But the cream completely covers all of the chocolate. Allow the mixture to set for three minutes. Whisk Ooh. together until it's smooth and shiny. Ooh, the donut is and cold and ready chocolate. and the ganache is warmed and ready. Time to combine. I just poured the ganache into a container with a spout to make pouring a little She's bit easier. Cook as much of the donut as you can, cute. but if you don't get every spot, that's okay. Cute. Give it a few taps to smooth it out. This big donut is really starting to look good. We're going to let it sit for about 20 minutes and then we're going to add some decorations. Time for my favorite part. It is time to decorate. Our glaze has set. Wow. Now we're going to add our sprinkles. You can just take a pinch and sprinkle them all over the top if you'd like, but I am going to be very precise. I'm going to be using some tweezers and placing them on to try to look just like the donut from the movie. Give me a purple sprinkle. I've got all the sprinkles placed where I She's want them. Precious. And now for the final decoration step, I am going to pipe the big donut. Using the some pink donut. royal icing, I put into a plastic baggie with a number one tip at the end, so I'll have number a lot one. of control. Da -da! Here is the big donut that we've made today from the movie Zootopia. Thanks a big cool. thank you to you guys for suggesting something Zootopia themed. This was so much fun to make. I have never made a donut this big before. Just for reference, we made a regular size donut so you can see what it looked like in comparison. Oh, wow. And look, we named it the little donut next to the big donut. I'll be posting the recipe and pictures on rosanapancino.com, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So you can go check them out there. And if you guys make the big donut, please take a picture and send it to me. Oh, she's so cool. I'm going to do one more video of her and then I'll show you the rest of my stuff.